Hello. Um, so this is the third lab on SQL. So uh, in this lab, we're going to perform union attack, trying to determine the number of columns. There we go. Click on access the lab. And by the way, don't forget to turn on your Foxy proxy to capture the traffic on your burp suite. Mine is on already. So that the first thing that I'm going to do is copy the URL, go to my burp suite, target, scope, paste URL, go to proxy, HTTP history, refresh the page. The reason I do this is because I only want to see the traffic that is coming from this endpoint only and nothing else. And if I go to my proxy HTTP history, click on here, they're right here. And I already chose show on in scope items, click on apply. This way, I'm only going to see the traffic from that endpoint and nothing else, which makes it more, you know, simpler for me. Okay, uh, I would just assume that you, you've you read about this union attack on Porsche Academy course and you know how to go about, you know, solving this. And um, let's do this. Okay, so we know that the vulnerable parameter here is that the category parameter. So we're going to, we know that already, which helps a lot. Uh, in real life scenarios, you know, you would have to find that out yourself. Okay. Click on any categories. I'm going to click on gifts. That's the uh, shortest one. Doesn't matter which one it is. Okay. You see, we have gifts. You could, we need to send this to repeater. The way you could do this is just click, right click, send to re repeater or just control R. That's what I do. I just control R. It's, it's on my repeater. I'm going to send it. Okay, I get 200 message. So the way union attack works is we say single quote union select. I'm going to start with one null and I'm going to keep adding more and more until I get 200 null. And I'm gonna URL, URL and code all this. And the way I do this is I highlight them all and click on Control U and it's gonna URL and code them and send it. No, 500, which means I need to add more. No. It's more than two columns. Third one. All right. So as you can see, there there are three columns uh, on this database or on this table, and uh, we got 200 status message, which means you know, which basically uh, tells us that this exists or this is okay. It doesn't say labs solved. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to refresh it. And there we go. This lab is solved. And that's it. Thank you.